How's Morse code for welcome back to Lifeless Planet, everybody? So I found out you can do Morse code with your helmet. So if we need to ever send a Morse code message, we could do it. A signal light. We could do it. So we're uh, coming out of the research laboratory here, and it looks like there's an actual like city-like structure up there. We can get some real answers as to what the heck is going on on this planet. If I don't fall to my death trying to get up here. Oh my. That is that is a jump puzzle. Some jumping platforming gonna happen. Chasm. Yes. Chasm of my demise. There we go. Piece of cake, right? Oh, come on. Get up there! No, no, no! Oh, God! Don't die! You got it! You're okay! Whew! You're okay. We're okay. It was just a... Just a little bit of a scare there. It's okay. We're fine. Make my way back up there and try and do that again. That was terrifying. Alright, can I just... Can I please, can I just fly over there with my jetpack? Instead of doing all this jumping? Whee! Okay. I just, I fired that one off a little bit too late that last time, so. There we go. That was my problem. That was my bad. Uh oh, that's a person. Hello. I'm gonna say that that was probably bad. Um, come back here, possibly sexy lady, yelling at me in Russian. I think them Russian women. They play hard to get. We must track her down. That was either a vivid hallucination, or I'm not alone on this planet. I'm hoping it was a vivid hallucination, because otherwise we can't call this game Lifeless Planet anymore. There's definitely life on it. Possibly sexy life. Despite the hesitations of our scientists, I increased the kilowatt output of our electrical generators by 200% without any noticeable environmental reaction. The production rate of the moss-like species we call the green fire appears to be quite high, and we theorize that it must also serve as a source of nutrients for the other plant life on the planet. To alleviate the concerns of the scientists, I have returned the generators to normal output, but the result is ineligible. Illegible? <laughs> when, when I'm trying to speak in an accent and then trying to read at the same time, it doesn't work that way. Find myself wondering if the abundance of power is not in and of itself a deterrent for warfare. Would our enemies lower their weapons if they knew our reactors would never power down? What level of accomplishments would they feel in their flag on the moon if all they could see looking back at the Earth was the continuous glow of the mighty Soviet Union? Nuclear weapons seem like the clubs of barbarians compared to the scientific potential we've seen here. More families are arriving to be with the men. Our society blossoms into an extension of the motherland. A new motherland! This is what the great writers of our age must have felt while regarding their creations. Perfection. Alright. Imperfection in my reading. Illegible. Illegible. 
haven't had to say that word in a long time. Let's follow the green glow. I think I s I thought I saw her up there. Now I'm starting to hallucinate. Hello, sexy lady. Where did you go? Guessing she went that way. Nothing up there. Just checking. Hey! How you doing up there? You could just come down, we could talk. I won't bite. Not a vampire. I might nibble a little. It's kind of creepy. I'll stop being a creeper. How did she get up there? I have no idea how she got up there. I can't climb like that. My jetpack is not going to fly up there either. So it looks like we got to move on. It'd be pretty cool to get to the top of that, though, and see all the surroundings. I imagine that's quite a sight. Ooh, that was quite a jump. I was just starting to get worried there. I mean, now we got red rocks. Uh oh. These are probably not the friendly aliens. Initial analysis indicates almandine or pyrope garnets in a mica schist. Typical of minerals formed deep underground at very high pressure. If confirmed, this suggests active plate tectonic activity in this planet's crust, which could contribute to an environment more hospitable for life. Interesting, indeed. Yes. Mm. Or it could lead to nasty aliens that want to rip your face off. Either way. It's kind of up in the air at this point. Oh my. Oh, that was close. I thought I was a goner for sure there. There she is again. Hello! Are you sure it's safe to be crossing that tightrope like that? I'm pretty sure it's an electrical warrior. It might electrocute you. She seems okay. She's fine with it. She's like, shut up! I'm trying to concentrate here. I'm throwing off my game. Bouncy, bouncy. Maybe take it a little bit careful here bounce our way right off the planet or right into its core that could happen Oxygen! Jetpack fuel collected. Extended boost mode enabled. Wow, that's crazy. Okay. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whoops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think you get eight. Well, the eighth one is kind of a. That's it. Seven really good ones, and then one eighth one that's just kind of. kind of fizzles out. So we, we're gonna have to traverse some crazy long distances now. I don't know how I feel about that. Time for some serious jetpacking. It's jetpacking extreme! My jetpack sure wasn't made for low gravity jumping, but it does help me cross larger gaps. I found the trick is to space out the jet burst for maximum distance. If I repeat the burst too quickly, it just uses up the charge before it has time to recover and I don't get very high. Now I have to decide if I want to go back down below for the easy jump or take the exciting and dangerous route from here. Oh man, what do you guys think? I mean, we'll go down there. It's the easy, it's the easy route apparently. But this looks exciting and dangerous, so I just, I can't argue with that. Let's try the exciting, dangerous one. Woo! That was pretty exciting. Although it didn't seem as quite as dangerous as I had anticipated. It was quite fun. I'll have to do that again sometime. More clues. Give me the clues. Further samples of the Garnets confirmed that they are of the Elmendine variety, common on Earth. But these are atypically large. Rock matrix is metamorphic, likely caused by mountain building. Again, suggesting an active geological past for this planet. This planet, I'm gonna... I'm gonna name this planet Earth. I just have that sneaky suspicion. Either it's Earth or it's all in our heads. It's all in my mind. Which I wouldn't rule that out either. So, now what? I don't know. It's pretty cool to climb this mountain, but... Hmm. Now where do we go? Could jump all the way over there, right? Maybe? I don't know. Let's see. Did I miss something? Did this, uh, did this trail end? I'm pretty sure it just ended. I was pretty sure it ended. Yeah. Looks like a pretty big dead end to me. So, Whee! Whee! that's so much fun. So I'm guessing we gotta jump that way somehow. I just don't know what I'm aiming for. Like, it could be that rock right down there. Think we can make that that big rock right there? I don't know. That looks that looks kind of kind of like death to me. I'm not sure. Well, no use without trying. Let's go this way. Oh God! Ow! Did I just die? What? Come on! Wow. What kind of bullcrap was that? I mean, how far can you fly with the jetpack without dying? But that was a pretty good landing. I stuck that pretty good. Apparently it stuck the bones right through our midsection. Okay, do we still have to go back this way? You did that one just fine. What's the problem? Maybe it maybe I needed like a burst right before landing just to like cushion that. Okay, so we don't have to recollect things, that's good. I just 
Maybe I wanted to be back on that side. <laughs> now that I think about it. Should have stayed there. Well, we had our first death. That was entertaining. Uh, should, try, should try it again. We could try it again. We seemed to make it over there. There's no problem. I took like three bursts and that was it. I want to get down on that on the big rock there though, so I think we got to jump from like up here, like right here. Let's try this. Whee! Oh, right into the side of the rock! Face plant. Oh, poor little guy. Well, now that we keep dying, it's just seems inevitable. I was trying to not be so careless, but now it just feels fun. I just, just kind of want to fly around everywhere and perhaps die at any moment. That was awesome. Just smash this poor dude's brains out. Well, this was the easy way. I thought I would just take the hard way. This is the apparently the easy way to get over the rock. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't just do that in the first place, but apparently I'm a glutton for punishment, so. So that happened. I'm stuck. Come on, you can get up there. I know you can. Come on, I know. No, get you jump a thing. Where it kind of looks like you're constipated. Doesn't it? Every time he's jetpacking, he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, push out. That's gross. Ew, gross. Yeah, they're like, Luke, you gross. You just stop talking now. Okay, so there's more green pathway to follow. Looks like we can uh, probably jump across this way rock right here we'll just bounce off that gracefully no problem right <laughs> there we go and see now I'm getting the hang of this jetpack thing I just you know I needed a second with it I needed a couple deaths I needed running into a mountain with my face before I finally was like well maybe I shouldn't do it that way Okay, back on the trail of the sexy Russian lady. I guess we really haven't figured out if she's Russian yet, but I, I can only assume so. And her comrades were testing, performing tests on her, probably because she got, came in contact with this, this greed stuff, whatever this radiation is. Maybe it started transforming her or something. Oh, it's a double rainbow! Oh my god, guys! Oh my god, double rainbow! Oh my god! Double rainbow! Okay. That's not an old joke at all, right? End of the line there. What does that mean? Let's go around this way. There's big red rocks again. I don't know how I feel about those red rocks. They said it was, you know, just signified some geological activity, maybe some tectonic plates, everything would be fine, but I don't know. I'm starting to think. Bad news. Bad news aliens some sort of force to be reckoned with. It's making me uneasy. Oh man, I think we're gonna have to tightrope walk this. 
No way. Oh, this is gonna be nuts. First, I have to successfully jump over there. And then we get to type road up across. This seems like a good spot to take a quick break, guys. And uh, we'll continue this journey next time. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying it. We're on the, tra on the trail of possibly Russian, possibly alien, possibly sexy female. Hopefully we can catch up with her and get some answers as to what's happening on this planet. Which apparently is not so lifeless after all. Until next time, guys, take care.